Okay. Hopefully. Um. Hopefully I remember how to do this. Get transform. Edit transform. Okay, I can't um, seem to remember. Can I do in this manual? Oh, there it goes. I'm just seeing how this if, if this works. while I'm playing, just to humanize me a bit. I tried brushing my hair, but it's still hella greasy. Um, I'm not used to being on camera. I think I mentioned this, but I've I think it's kind of funny how a camera kind of does steal your soul in a way. Um, I'll give this a try. I think I'll play some DQB2. I don't have any good lighting, I'm lit from below. And then I'll try and figure out where to put the camera. Maybe I'll even, maybe I'll even edit the transform again. Hopefully this webcam doesn't have a mic. I don't even know, I've only used it a couple of times in a, in a, um, business capacity. So I haven't tinkered with it at all. I don't want to be like, you know, some of the, sometimes they're like sitting on your lap. <laughs> I guess this is good enough. I'll just see how the VOD goes. But I will check the audio real quick once we're in game. I definitely couldn't do this with Red Dead 2. I tried. I remember trying when I got my new computer. And it was like hella laggy. And laggy hella. Okay, so I'll just run around a bit, and then I'll explain, I'll explain while I'm checking the, checking the audio, what I did offline, or, yeah, offline. Uh, I went to an island called, I forget what it was called. Um, it sounds okay to me. Um, I guess it's okay.
maybe I'll lock lock it in the sources panel and away we go okay what did I do I went to an island one of the explorer shores sorry I got it Time out for a second for my multimedia thingy to work. What's it, Jiggy? So this guy asked me to go to one of the explorer shores to find a snow monster called a Powie Yowie or Powie Wowie, so that we could turn this all into a snowy area, snowy lands. Yep, Powie Yowie and Toe. No less. So the Pau Yaoi works kind of like Wrigley. How Wrigley turns regular dirt into green lands. The Pau Yaoi turns dirt into snowy, snowy lands. Yay! Ice lolly, frozen confection. So we lay these down instead of the instead of the um, geez what are they called the grass thingies the what's a jiggy is the what's a jiggy of it all So lollipop, it's that guy. Besides that tongue, but they taste delicious. Oh, they're all getting to work. They're getting busy for me. Oh, but I found a bunch of cool shit. I found some of these pink flowers. You can place this, place them on water. I got some pink and yellow dye. And I made a friend out of, where is he? Oh, this stone statue guy. I forget what they're called. There's another friend I made, he's a warrior. This guy, I think his name is Malcolm, or maybe see something. And I found another bird, I don't know what to call him. Maybe Donald. So instead of the warm food and the woody goodies, we lay down these ice lollies. I think that Santa Claus looking freak asked me to put some some of these down. We got these uh, bold, big border boulders so we can make a hot spring. And I filled my... Oh, we also got this berserker statue. He was hard to kill without Malroth, because Malroth is mad at me. He's mad at me for not trusting him on Moonbrook. So I had to fight all of these guys, basically just with the help of him, who does one damage by the way. And that bird over there took a long time to... But I enjoyed it. I love this game. Damn, bro. Two licks to finish off these uh, big ass popsicles.
And I still have to get new glasses. IRL, I mean. And maybe a haircut. I don't know if you can tell how how long my hair is. It's unmanageable. Every time I step in the shower, it's like clogging that mug up. Hopefully you can't see too much of the mess behind me. I just kind of threw the webcam on to see how it, if it works. Oh, maybe I'll check my task manager or my performance. I think maybe I'll play for a, for a second just to see. Maxed out, which I don't know if that's good or bad. I think I might uh, fry another PC. <laughs> sometimes you eat the bar, sometimes the big old beautiful bitch she eats you. Yeah, I'm sure there's a more efficient way for me to do this, but these are really easy to make. I think I just need ice to make them. It's not like damn woody goodies where I have to collect a whole bunch of crap. Oh, he's too happy to smack. Oh, I can't knock them out of it like I could on Moonbrook. I think I should, I should be using the transformo trial to turn these chunky chalk blocks into, or regular chalk blocks into dirt. But I think what I'll do instead is not worry about it. I'll worry about it when I have to make so many things. Getting older. Should be going to the doctor more regular. Oh, was that Wrigley? Um, um, in the um, other part of the island? Two little pip, pip, pip for now. It's one too many pips, you freak. You no pants wearing freak. this part of the game because they'll just put a chest down and they'll get busy.
Yeah, Matt Roth is still mad at me. Well, he's um, becoming. What's that called? Disenfranchised. Perfect for um, the dark forces to take hold of him. He's got Andrew Tate whispering in his ear now. And, um... Yeah, he's just getting radicalized. Damn, you know what's crazy is AI. How, um... Good the graphics are on that shit. It's wild, bro. I think I'm done with in the creative... I'm done with the creative endeavors. Can't stand uh, when, when something turns from like a hobby or a passion into feeling like a job. Such impertinence. Let us end her life this instant and be spent. Can't nobody read that fast, man. I need to leave that mug up for at least another two more minutes video game. Egad. I'm just going to throw them all out uh, willy-nilly. Okay, this mother effer don't give an F about nothing. How's the thing get? Oh, I'm being notified. I'm just gonna stop caring about crap that I don't need to care about, to be honest. Because uh, it really hasn't gotten me anywhere. It doesn't get me anywhere to uh, worry about stuff that you don't need to. Get the term, maybe it's um, geez, what is it? It's not influence, it's like a um, footprint, like a digital footprint that you leave. I was really freaked out by um, the whole audio issue that I had, but now I think it just doesn't matter. There's no um. No reason to fret about stuff that um, cause it's like what do you have to lose really if I'm not doing anything bad, you know? But I also don't want to be like one of those guys who's like, at least I'm not so and so, at least I'm not that bad. I do try and re I try and think a little bit about the stuff that I say, like when I was talking all edgy about suicide and 
um, Albert Camus how it's kind of really baller to um, <laughs> that people don't acknowledge it but I won't even talk about it I was just um, I was trying to be mindful of stuff that I just don't need to care about And like if I was watching someone else's content, I would not be that critical. You know, like, or even like these moments of quiet, where I just have nothing to say, perfectly fine. It doesn't make a bit of difference, really. You know, you can never account for people's tastes. Sometimes people just want to hang out and watch the video game. Or just chill. Because I was considering of um, not even streaming until I finished the campaign, so I would have stuff to build, or all of the everything unlocked, so I could start building. My hair is super greasy. I'm gonna have to shower this morning. getting stuck in front of my face and stuff. One moment. Okay, I was thinking of getting my hairbrush. See if that would help. I don't like looking at myself, so I'm going to disable this. Preview. Distracting. Okay. Can't wait for this guy to um Aw, he's sleeping. Can't wait for this guy to look up all these what's it JD's? Oh we have a battle over here. I think she wants us to build some traps actually. Maybe I 
I should make some food. Nah. Oh yeah, but I've been thinking about um, putting time in creative efforts and um, I'm just taking a break. Taking a break from it. I want to see where AI goes, honestly. Damn, I have to put 200. again. Okay, those are the ice ones. I'll put an ice one every so often. Actually, you know, I could just put a whole bunch of these. I shall. I think these green ones need the arrow. Or the arrow points at whatever it needs to go off. No? Oh, I should unload this hot water. This will be a dude giving a thumbs up. Can you see him? He's like... Okay, only 30 minutes. I might hop off, honestly. Okay, 
Okay, I gotta read more. Okay, we'll do battle. Oh, it's the guys from Skelcatraz. You know, I escaped Skelcatraz twice. It's activating. That's cool. The green one. Sorry, it feels like this bit of air is coming over my eye. But I won't think about it. Okay, I'll never take our co-op de Grasse for granted again. I'll, uh, makes these battles, um, there's a lot more of a, of a flow to the fight.
Well, yeah, but I was I was just watch I was looking at some um, AI generated clips of like prompting and then video or a piece of video comes out. And um, I'm trying to think of like where creative efforts are wasted for hours and hours and hours. How oh, there's no. But I also. I, I genuinely do care about. I care about writing. I always have, I've always read, and I always wanted to be a writer of some sort. But like journalism is so obviously corrupt. Corrupt and um, tainted. Not about um, not actually about helping. You know, like Mother Teresa, for example. Apparently she um, infected a bunch of, <laughs> or she used a bunch of dirty needles and got a lot of people sick with it. Or that's just what I've heard, that could be a myth. I, hey, I, I don't know what I'm talking about, I'm crazy, you know, but um, I'm just talking about like, where does the truth matter? Really. I don't know why my brain went to Mother Teresa immediately. I just think it's really funny, like, they'll tell you, go through the appropriate channels. They'll tell you, jump through the necessary hoops like everyone else does, because you're not special. But you are special. It's them that wants to define you down. You know? Like, what you're really hoping to be is more normal for your for your success, you want it, you're hoping to be less. And you can see it everywhere. I think people in general are kind of waking up to the nonsense of it all. Maybe they always have been. Like that song I was talking about, it's only people's games that you've got to dodge. But I think I'm at the stick point in my life where I should only concern myself with um, working on stuff that will give me money. Like, uh, right now I'm just playing, I'm having fun. I'm hoping to get everything unlocked in this game. 
uh, off camera for a long time. I've been working on a manuscript, animating it, turning it into like a short animated film. There's no. I think I'm um, struggling to motivate myself, that's all. And to act without motivation is a necessary um, um, discipline in life to, you know, to get busy even when you aren't motivated at all. But that, should, that shouldn't apply to you. Like, Stuff that's just gonna turn out being a waste of time, anyways. Kind of growing up or maturing. Kind of funny, I've never, I guess I never looked at myself before I made a social media. I was just kind of existing. And even now, sometimes I completely forget that the rest of the internet exists. But, um... So I think it's time for me to, um... be a bit more realistic. I spoke a lot about the coarse... coarseness of realistic things how more realism doesn't necessarily mean it's more useful. to get lost in the sauce with that shit. You know what? I gotta go get some water, I'll be right back.
Okay, maybe you can tell how heavy my hair is. It's becoming. But I don't want to cut it for some reason. I want to let it grow and grow and grow. Sorry, I'm having trouble clicking into the window now. Oh yeah, but I was talking about coarseness, or realistic to the point of coarseness for a long time. It's just, um, kind of a, it's a philosophical, philosophical problem, really, with art, I mean, because like, some people might say that anything that isn't based on real facts or any type of fiction can't ever be as useful as, um, like, true, true um, events, whatever, historical, historically proven information but for a long time I believed against that because in my college days I spent so much time trying to make an objective assessment of an objective assessment of the world which of course doesn't sell you have to give up your integrity immediately if you want to try and engage with a lot of <laughs> a lot of you want to make a living doing that basically in pretty much any capacity, scholarly works, popular articles, etc. I think um, there comes a point where you just have to grow up. And um, I didn't want to do that. I still don't on some level because like the truth lies not in one dream but in many. That's from a thousand and one nights, or Arabian nights as it's called. And um, I think in a like let's say you've a really good year, right? Four good seasons. But that won't prepare you for the tragedy of maybe a bad year or bad ten years. But a life can be lived with dignity, with just one good year out of 60. One good year out of 60. Four good years out of 33. You see what I'm saying? Like, to make something out of that is an art form that's potentially more beneficial um, to the human audience that it might have than just saying this is what happened over these years. You know what I'm saying? I think that there's an art in, in poetics that is worthwhile, is worth dedicating yourself to. But right now I can't, I just can't will myself to work on that. Which is fine, you know, we all get disheartened and demoralized every now and then. The world is kind of set up, it designs itself that way. It wants you to feel like shit. Wants you to abandon all integrity and decency and crawl. Not die, but crawl. Because to die is to make a choice. As Camus said, 
I don't know, maybe he didn't say that. I have this bad issue where I interpret something and sometimes I'll speak before I think it out properly. What he said was the only real philosophical problem is suicide. These guys, these guys didn't destroy their lands. So as much as they do. Whoa, we killed Chain. <laughs> Damn, bro. R.I.P. Shane, we hardly knew he, he ass haircut that is. Boom roasted. Whatever the case, that is one task less for, all, for us all to face. We're making progress. Okay, I'm just gonna save after this no pants wearing freak, this hairy pantsless freak gives us our mini medal. Thank you very much, Sala. Little pip 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 for now. Always with them that, that one too many pips. You hairy no pants wearing freak. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, I think I'll just unload everything I have animated on Twitter, or maybe I won't, maybe I'll just, I don't know what I'm going to do, I'm just, I'm just um, tired of working on something that um, I know it's not going to pay off, I've done this before, where it's like, there's one second worth of exhilaration where I, before I click upload and then it's like just there I don't feel any, in fact I feel weirdly more vulnerable than I would like to feel especially on the internet but again it's all I'm trying to get out of this space of thinking about worrying about stuff that I don't need to worry about at all. Because as of right now, the channel is just what I guess YouTube would call a personal use channel. Personal use, like yapping and playing games for fun. So it's whatever, just whatever. I figured, I figured I'd hop on and talk about that a little bit, play the game, explain the progress I've made in this game. So yeah, I might be back on tomorrow or the day after. Play a bit more Batman tomorrow probably. Okay, I hope you have a good one.